1978 was the year that Mount Cain Alpine Park Society was formed. That's the nonprofit society that actually runs the Alpine What is one of the coolest things about living off grid? Okay, so I think the community here is like awesome, really great because everyone lives together and everyone helps each other and a lot of fun and I think that's also because of no cell service and I would actually like to live a few more days without cell service because I enjoyed it a lot. I think that it's so untouched and like no no cell service or Wi-Fi. There is no cell service, <laughs> no Wi-Fi. Um, Everyone's very social, so like you actually have to talk to people and like communicate. <laughs> you have to uh, be social. A lot of time you want to have Wi-Fi or cellular service so you can actually talk with people and not be a phone addicted zombie like most of us are. Yeah, it's just like closer, or kind of like more community environment because there's nothing else really you can do, so... <laughs> no service, no Wi-Fi, so people have to talk to each other. The unplugging is really nice if you're like constantly living in the age of digitalization stuff. Um, so like we're always online and it's nice just to have some time off. And also when you don't get distracted by any technology, um, you learn how to appreciate like little things more. And also the community grows extremely together and you get to know new people more easily like a diesel generator and that's not very good for the environment. Yeah, when something happens, it takes like a long time for the ambulance or the helicopter to come. So it's like more dangerous for you when you hurt yourself that you may not survive or that it's getting worse. It's harder to get help if like you need an emergency vehicle. It takes couple hours more than it would. combination of if your power system fails you're sort of screwed, if something breaks you're sort of screwed, mm -hmm. and also just like um, if you uh, it's really hard to get help if you get hurt. So how does, how does climate change affect Vancouver Island? How does it affect the Alpine? Does it mean more snow? Snow. <laughs> Apart from trying to reduce our carbon footprint, you know, reducing our emissions with our generators, getting more efficient set up there. Starting with a, a battery bank system so that we can charge our batteries up, so we can run our generators at full capacity, to charge up a bank of batteries. And then when our lifts are not running and stuff, we'd be able to run all the lights and everything off of this bank of batteries so the generator would have to run uh, They will just have to look. Uh, how it goes like in the next years because we don't know what will happen. Maybe there's no snow, maybe there will be a lot of snow, uh, maybe there will be a lot of rain. So they will just have to look and find a solution for the problem when it's there. Um, but they also talked about moving the bottom, like the base of the hill, more up so people can ski more up top. There are people with cabins, uh, there's 52 cabins. Just Avalanche is formed when there's an unstable um, layer and like then snow is coming over it and then the whole layer is going down. Yeah. And um, for example, you got triggered through um, snow, wind or people. Okay, now coming to avalanche safety and risk management in the back country. So if you're like uh, traveling in the back country, uh, you should always like test the snow peg and look at the weather forecast uh, to like minimize your chances of getting into an avalanche. Also like focus on your surroundings and not like getting distracted by other stuff. Uh, every person that skis in the back country or boards in the back country uh, should have a shovel, a beacon and a probe. At first you should try to um, try to ride out of the avalanche. If that doesn't work you should get off your whole gear and try to swim. 
and as soon as the snow basically slows down then you should reach to the top and try to kind of make a sign with your hand <laughs> that you were there. <laughs> oh, and you should make such an air pocket. Yeah.